about the opportunities, where the jobs are, who this program is good for, what histotechnology is, which involves no patient care, and answer any questions that you might have. My name is Karen Stifler. I'm the histotechnology program director, as well as a professor here at Lakeland. I have my bachelor's degree in biology from Case Western Reserve and my master's degree in education from Western Governors. I have over seven years experience as a histotechnologist in research and clinical settings. Um, I wasn't real sure what I wanted to do after I got my bachelor's. I thought about various patient care careers, but I instead decided to go into research. And that's where I found out about histology, in one of the research labs. So, and then after I worked there for a little while, I found a job at the Cleveland Clinic working as a histotechnologist there. And now this is my seventh year as the program director here at Lakeland. So we get students of all different ages and jobs. Um, we have a CCP student this year who's about who's 18, we've had students up to 50. We get many non-traditional students that are over 25. We get younger students as well. We've, it's often a second or third career. We've had students in customer service. We've had nursing assistants, dental hygienists, phlebotomists, veterans. We've had a chemist. We have a watchmaker right now. And so many more different careers that I've never even heard of in some cases. Um, so some students have started other programs, uh, such as nursing or other patient care careers, and they decide they don't like that patient care aspect of it. So whatever stage of life you're in, we're here for you to reach your goals. We're all kind of starting from the same place. So I just wanted to read a little testimonial from one of my students, Laura. She graduated in 2017. She works at Metro. She would tell students coming into the program that histology is a fantastic career. It's perfect for people who want to help others and work in the medical field, but would prefer to be behind the scenes. She said, you must be driven, have a desire to succeed, and above all, be conscientious about your work. Why well, I love histology. With histology, you have the knowledge you're, being, you're helping people and their families get answers. Histotechs are an integral part of the pathology team. How well we do our work determines how well the pathologists can do their work. Histology is an art form, and I'll, I take a lot of pride in how my slides look, especially knowing that a patient's diagnosis relies on them. And then why she chose this program, she came back to school after working 12 years in the automotive industry. I knew I wanted to work in a laboratory setting, but I wasn't exactly sure how to go about doing it. While getting my bachelor's degree, I was able to do an internship at a local hospital. I spent 10 weeks in their laboratory. I saw hematology, chemistry, microbiology, and blood bank. But the one that fascinated me the most was histology. It seemed impossible someone could take a piece of tissue and create a slot. So I immediately came to Lakeland, which has the only NACLS approved program in the whole state of Ohio. I applied despite still finishing my bachelor's. It was the best decision I'd ever made because I have a fantastic job that I love. So that's uh, her story. And now she's a part-time faculty member. She works with me in a couple of courses, helping with laboratory techniques. She's been a huge uh, asset to the program. Um, some opportunities of where you could work. I'd say the majority of our students work in hospitals or graduates, but you can also work in dermatology offices, universities, industry, pharmaceutical, private labs, forensics, and veterinary diagnostics. If anyone's curious, this is a MOVOT stain. As you can see, histology is both an art and a science to it. So there's a lot of pretty kind of pretty pictures that go along with it. Um, and our students are in really high demand. I get emails, phone calls all the time looking for our students. Um, we have um, basically because we're the only school in the state of Ohio, everyone in Ohio wants our students and throughout the nationwide as well. We have students that have come from as far as Youngstown, 
and Akron, several from the Akron area this year. Um, so a histotechnician with an associate's degree, the starting salary in this area is around 42 to 45,000, uh, depends on where you work. The average salary in Ohio is about 53, about the same as the national average. Um, in terms of advancement, you be can become a lead tech, a supervisor, a manager. You can go on and get your bachelor's degree, which can be a higher pay in general. You are then considered a histotechnologist. We'll talk about the exam a little bit later. Um, if you become a histotechnologist, you can do more advanced techniques and you can move into more higher leadership roles. If you want to even continue past your bachelor's, you can go on to pathologist assistance uh, programs and that's master's level. So you can need your bachelor's first. And then um, the highest would be a pathologist or an MD. Most people don't take that whole route to get to be a doctor, but that would be the the route um, of advancement. Uh, there is a Bachelor of Science in Allied Health program that we have at the Holden Center. Um, allied Health courses um, are online, um, but you may need to take additional courses at Lakeland to get that Bachelor of Science degree. Um, if you want more information about that, you'll want to contact Bowling Green's eCampus or Ali Collingwood at the Holden University Center. So they will give you more information. We have a graduate currently going through the program. So it is something that can transfer um, over to that program. So the program is good for people who are interested in career in healthcare, but would rather work behind the scenes. Some good traits are being a problem solver, having attention to detail, having an interest in science, enjoying challenges and responsibility. So we'll talk a little bit about what histotechnology is. Sometimes people don't know a lot about it. Well, most of the time people don't know much about it. Um, histology, the word itself means the study of tissue, but histotechnology refers to actually preparing and processing these tissue specimens. Um, so the purpose is to investigate the difference between healthy tissue and diseased tissue. It's often used um, when looking for cancer, but you can also use it to test for a variety of diseases, such as those caused by bacteria, parasites, or fungi. And this person here has a fungal infection. These black areas indicate fungus. So in this particular stain of a lung, a student, this person uh, does have a fungal infection. Um, you can also look at kidney diseases, liver diseases, um, can find out a lot of different things by looking at someone's tissue. So in the program, you're gonna learn and practice the techniques that are necessary to process that tissue specimen from after it's removed from the patient until you get that slide ready to make a diagnosis. So you'll learn embedding, microtomy, frozen sectioning, special stains, immunohistochemistry. Um, so embedding is the tissue sections are placed in molds and hardened. Um, microtomy or sectioning is when you use a microtome, which is that machine right there. We have very similar ones in our lab. You cut thin ribbons of tissue and you place those on slides and then frozen sectioning there's a cryostat, we also have one of those in the lab. It's a method of cutting fresh tissue and you make a quick diagnosis while the patient is still in surgery. Uh, special stains help to identify various chemical components of tissues, so it also helps in disease diagnosis. This here is a kidney, anybody was curious. Um, immunohistochemistry is another thing um, technique that's used and it's used a lot recently and it's a specialized method of staining used to diagnose diseases such as cancer and give you very specific like what type of breast cancer you might have so you can get the appropriate uh, treatment. All right, so just kind of summarize we just talked about. So here's the tissue here. It gets fixed generally informally and processed on a processing machine. 
gets embedded in paraffin wax, and then it'll look like this, the tissue here with the wax. It gets cut and put on these slides to water bath. Once the tissue is on the slide, then it gets stained, and then the doctor can make that uh, diagnosis of what uh, condition the patient might have or not have. So what are you going to learn in this program? You'll be taking courses in biology, chemistry, anatomy, and physiology. You'll take a course in molecular diagnostics. Um, Jessica, can I approve this? I don't know. Sorry. And then you'll have your histology specific. Uh, courses. Um. Uh, did it stop forwarding? Yeah, it started. A message came up about your annotating. I must have oh. the thing. And now I can't. <laughs> That's not sorry. Um, should I stop sharing and start sharing again? Oh, wait, here we go. So decline this time. Go ahead and approve it and send it to me. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so Lakeland classes, our histology classes are mainly on campus and we have some hybrid courses. We have one course that is completely online, that's Histology 2100. Many of our general education courses are now online. Um, all histology courses are in the evening, except for your clinicals, which is during your last semester. And that is, um, those will be daytime hours. Pretty much like a full time job. Uh, why you should choose a career in histotechnology is you're part of a healthcare team, but you don't work directly with patients. It allows you to work in a variety of settings. If you have a passion for science and medicine, but you prefer to work behind the scenes. A little bit about Lakeland's uh, histotechnology program it's a two year program, 63 credit hours. At least to an associate of applied science degree in histotechnology. More than half of the required general education courses can be taken online. And again, histology courses are mainly on campus. The program combines basic science, general education, laboratory techniques, and clinical laboratory experiences. We have small classes, we get a maximum of 12 students. Uh, allows students to receive personal attention from faculty, um, which is very, uh, very nice. We are accredited by NACLS, which is the National Accrediting Agency of Clinical Laboratory Sciences. And again, we are the only NACLS approved program in the state of Ohio. We also do have a fast track program in the last uh, few years that we've had some students go through. And it's been quite popular. Um, so students who have a bachelor's degree in biology or chemistry, or even if you have taken most of your non histology courses, you may qualify. Um, you need to go over your transcript with me first to make sure you have the appropriate courses already taken. If you do qualify for the fast track, you can complete the program in a year and a half part time. Um, if you qualify, so that'd be four semesters, including two courses that you take during the summer. So you start the program in the fall, 
and you complete it um, in December of your second year. If you do the two-year program, you would uh, complete it in May. So students get hands-on training in a simulated hospital laboratory on campus. Again, we have all those sweet microtomes, cryostat, and bedding center, um, automated stainer, all the kinds of equipment you would use in a hospital. But we also provide you with 16 weeks, 480 hours, so that's about 30 hours a week of clinical training, and that's during your last semester, so it's pretty much a full-time job. Um, uh, some examples of places that we send students are Cleveland Clinic, University Hospitals, and Metro Health. We deal with other um, institutions as well, but those three, we almost every semester have students go there. Um, one really nice thing is many students get their jobs, their clinical sites after graduation. They see what a good uh, student you are, and it generally um, lends itself to offering you a job if you are interested in working there. So ASCP certification, American Society of Clinical Pathology, uh, students become eligible to sit for the uh, ASCP Board of Certification exam upon graduation. So you're uh, ready to take it. You don't need any experience first, but you can get a job before you graduate or when you graduate and then take that exam within a year, some places like it within six months. So they give you a certain timeline that they do want you to get certified, but you can get a job right away before you do that. Um, students that have a bachelor's degree in biology or chemistry may be eligible to take that HTL exam so they can become a histotechnologist and provide more uh, career opportunities. So if you'd like any additional information, um, about histotechnology in general. The National Society for Histotechnology is a good place to look. Um, they have a nice video there and a lot of information. If you're interested in learning more about uh, clinical pathology and learning about the exam and everything, you can go to ASCP's website. Here's a picture of a colon. Students always talk about the flowers. Um, so some frequently asked questions. Um, the job outlook is very good. Let me make sure the number's right. So it's expected to grow up to 22% through 2022. Um, it's very in demand. We're seeing a lot of retirements right now. So it's it even more uh, in demand. Um, the estimated cost uh, as a Lake County resident is about $7,800. And if you're out of Lake County, about 9,600. And that would include tuition, fees, books, or certification exam. Of course, that would be less if you already have some of your other courses already taken. But those would be uh, more of the max. Um, be sure to apply for financial aid if you uh, desire. Um, and I'll also inform you of any scholarship opportunities on the comp as well. Uh, classes are offered in the evenings. Uh, you can start as early as fall this fall of 2021 if you have your prerequisite courses taken. Um, if you haven't and you want to wait until fall 2022 or you're just now starting to think about it, we always start in the fall. So just um, get in touch with me and um, can uh, put you on the list. Um, clinicals are at Cleveland Clinic, University Hospital, Metro, and then others as needed, depending on how many students we have and depending on where you, uh, where you live. So how do you apply? You need to first become a Lakeland student if you're not already a Lakeland student. Um, so you need to do that first. Uh, once you go through that process, you need to take medical terminology a prereq for the program. We just opened summer registration, so there's still openings left to take that this summer if you want to do that. If it has been more than two years since you graduated from high school, um, you will also need to take anatomy and physiology one before starting the program. Um, and you'll need to get a combined GPA of 2.5 between the A&P one and the medical terminology. If you are a 
high school student or just graduated from high school student, you do need to get at least a C in medical terminology. Um, and then once you become a Lakeland student, you still have to be formally accepted into the histotechnology program. So you'll want to check out our web page and there'll be links to the application for the histotechnology program um, or the allied health programs in general. So it's separate from becoming a Lakeland student. So you just want to make sure you know that because um, you only take those 12 students and once those spots are full, um, we can't uh, take any more. Um, so any questions? Um, if there's any questions in the chat, um, we will send you a, a link to uh, look at it again after this session. You can certainly contact me directly, kstifler1 at lakelandcc.edu. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. So if you um, are already, you can start taking your prereqs as early as this, as this summer, um, if you want to. Um, even if you don't want to start this fall and want to wait, um, if you want to take summer courses, you can. Um, it's just really kind of up to you. Um, last I heard, we have probably at least six spots open, um, six to seven. Um, I don't generally find out until later people, um, especially now that it's you know, only halfway through spring semester, people are finishing up their prereqs. So I don't often know until the summer. So we do still have um, several spots left. So there are openings for if you have not already applied. Any other questions? Um, Nicole, if you want to um, email me after this, uh, we can we can talk some more about your specific situation. So I saw that you are accepted. So, yeah. Is there anything else? All right, so thanks everybody for attending and I hope to uh, see or hear from you um, soon. Thank you.